Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring a portion of this video. The first 200 people to click the link in the description will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. What is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. All of this around me is gonna be pretty unfamiliar background to you guys. I'm actually visiting my family here in Jordan for the Christmas holidays to get a little bit of a break from the busy and hectic London. On my way here, I posted a short story on my Instagram page that had my Jordanian passport in it, and I got a whole bunch of questions and engagement on that story about why it is I'm going to or from Jordan, and the reason is that I am Jordanian. I'm Jordanian by ethnicity, I was born in Canada, I grew up in Greece, then I studied in Canada again, and I'm studying in the UK. So while I'm here, I thought it would be really fun to film a week in my life in Jordan. I plan to do quite a lot of fun and interesting activities over the coming week, and I wanna take you guys along with me. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is our garden. The garden surrounding our house has pretty much everything you can imagine. Right behind me here, we've got these small oranges. We've got a fig tree here, lemons. Over here, we've even got a pommely tree. That's not good. Definitely did not mean to drop that. Gonna go grab it real quick. Here it is. I mean, it's a bit flat now. Got these baby clementines, olive trees. This over here is a bay leaf tree. This here is a kaka tree. More grapes growing along the fence. Walnut tree, almond tree, escadinia. It's an actual hummingbird. Oh my God. Pistachio tree. Chim chim, sim sim. My little kitty, don't run away from me. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Yeah, my little kitty. Simpson, you wanna go on an adventure? Yeah. Do you wanna go on a tour of the house with everybody? Come, what do you wanna show them? Should we show them the living room, Simpson? Yeah. Did they see it, Simpson? Okay, okay, you've had enough. All right, off you go. All right guys, so just came back from a quick trip to the supermarket. It's like I never left. And I'm sitting down editing this Thursday's video, which is a Q&A with Ali Abdal. Wow, that was definitely a bad time to pause, but I messaged him like a week or two ago saying, I don't think we ever uploaded that Q&A. It was supposed to go live quite some time ago. So we're gonna sit down, edit it and bang it out now. And that's what you guys have probably seen a couple weeks ago. So anyways, I'm just gonna set you guys down over here and get to work doing that because there's quite a bit to do. Anyways, in a little bit here, I actually have a palliative care and breaking bad news tutorial and workshop that I'm gonna attend via Zoom on my laptop. So I'm actually in the middle of a theme week in between my psychiatry block and my a &E block. I have this theme week where we do lectures and tutorials and things like that. So I do still have to attend even if I'm in a different country. Since I filmed here yesterday, we have gotten a massive monitor and some speakers here. This was actually a birthday present from my mom, but since I'm in this room while I'm here, I'm making use of it. Also, look at what I found in one of the closets here story time i was looking through a bunch of my old stuff here in jordan that we brought over from greece and i came across this tub of pokemon cards and i remember the tupperware is the holy grail of my cards so i opened up this tupperware and i came across these guys and i don't know too much about pokemon but i know that these cards are really cool they're shiny they're dark holographic but even better than that I came across these guys, EX cards. Now I know for a fact, these things were the coolest. I've come across this. Now I know that this is a cool card. This is the holy grail of Pokemon cards. If somebody actually knows anything about Pokemon cards, do tell me if this is worth anything, let me know. All right, now that I've nerded out about Pokemon for a good minute, I'm gonna sit down, sign in, and get started with this learning. العشاء ماما راح تعملنا سندويشات فلافل فقلت بفرجيكم كيف راح تعملهم حط شوية حمص The original مظبوط وبعدين نحط خس الخس الفلافل الأول هيك بندورة تاتا يسلم ايديك حبيبي ايديك يا روحي Alright guys, so it's currently the evening and I've come up onto the roof in order to watch the sunset. We're not quite tall enough to see everything that I want, but I can actually climb up over there via this staircase here. So I'm gonna do just that. Definitely the 
looks better from up here. Pretty cloudy day, but I think that looks beautiful. All right, guys, good morning. Today is a very exciting day. We are going to be going on a three day adventure, going to the Dead Sea. If you think I'm swimming weirdly, it's because I am. And then Petra. Look at all of these homes carved into the side of the mountain. I genuinely, I cannot believe it. The Dead Sea and Petra are both two must see places if you come here to Jordan, which I highly encourage everyone watching this video to do. I'll be telling you a lot more about them throughout the day, but for now I need to pack quite quickly because we're gonna head out in just under an hour. Hi Sim Sim. Don't miss me too much, okay? <sighs> Let's go. Quick little stop before we get on the highway to grab some coffee. Alright, mission accomplished. The Dead Sea, where we're going, is the lowest point on Earth. It is 450 meters below sea level. The Dead Sea is actually not a sea at all. It's in fact a closed lake, with only one tributary going into it from the Jordan River and no outflow at all. And as a result, the salt water concentration is 43%, 10 times as much as normal seawater. As we approach the Dead Sea, as we approach the River Jordan, all of the land becomes extremely, extremely fertile. And so all around me here are huge, huge farms of banana trees. Look at this. Look at all these bananas here. Bananas as far as the eye can see. Look how big this leaf is. Unbelievable. I'm totally on some random person's farm right now, so I hope they don't mind too much. So, we've made it to our room. We're just gonna put on our swim trunks and then head down to the Dead Sea. But before I go, I wanna tell you about my favorite Arabic snack. It's called Amruddin, the literal translation of which is the moon religion or something like that. Basically dried apricot that you can like chew on. It's really, really good. Originally, it's made as a drink that you drink during Ramadan. Very true. All right, gonna get dressed and go down. The hotel is completely empty. It's like a ghost town here. I just went in for a swim and a little bob up and down in the very buoyant water. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna do something very risky for the bisky. I'm going to take the camera into the water. I hope I don't drop it. I'm completely floating without any effort whatsoever. And if I turn onto my, oh God. Okay, that was a bad idea. So I get to where it's deep and I try to go underwater. So it pushes me back up. It's like a spring. <laughs> if you look at it, you can see the salt. And if I was to let my hands dry here for five minutes, the salt would be precipitated on my hands. I forgot to mention that the mud that you find here in the Dead Sea is extremely, extremely nutrient rich. People travel from all over the world to come get this mud and lather it all over their bodies. It's known to help get rid of people's acne, all kinds of other skin conditions. All right, so I generally find touching like soap or like foam, mud, pottery, things like that. I generally have a big hatred of touching those types of textures, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm here. I might as well put all of this mud on me. Wish me luck. How do you do it? Just everywhere? I'm so hairy though, it's gonna get stuck in my way. All right, am I sufficiently covered in mud everywhere? I think so. This is 
as much as I'm gonna put on. guys it is many hours later now we went to have dinner downstairs i had the best best lamb it's called mansaf i'll put a picture of it over here amazing amazing food and i've been sat down here in front of my laptop for almost four hours now finishing off the edit for the vlog that you will have seen last week this is the vlog of me in dartford it's an absolutely huge one but i think you guys are gonna like it anyways i'm exhausted now i'm gonna put my head on the pillow go to sleep and catch you guys tomorrow peace Studying for the USMLE Step 1 Microbiology section taught me anything. It's don't get into places like this because of the risk of contracting Naegleri Fowleri, more commonly known as the brain-eating bacteria. And if you go in here, apparently the water is so warm that it's like a sauna. Let's go check it out. Look at how much smoke is in there. Oh my. Crazy. That was absolutely amazing. If you ever come to Jordan, don't forget to visit this place. I'll leave the location somewhere over here. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> All right, good morning. We have made it to Petra. We're going down the main entranceway that takes us to the main city. So Petra, if you don't know, is an entire city dug into the rock. So all of these little holes that you see here are people's homes. These are people's houses dug inside the actual rock thousands and thousands of years ago. How beautiful is this? Literally dug into the side of the mountain. So now we're walking through the main entrance to the city of Petra. I'm surrounded by these huge, very, very tall canyon-like 
walkways. And this was actually formed by river, by water. It's hard to imagine that the level of the water that used to run through this canyon was up there. And over millions and millions of years, it slowly eroded its way down to the foot level that we're walking at now. Absolutely insane. Come say hi. Guys, check it out. This rock behind me looks like a big grouper fish. You see that? From this angle here. And then if you come here, it looks like an elephant. How crazy is that? it's happening. The entrance is right there. I can see it through that little crack. alone. It's literally just me and Petra. This is the prize monument of the city of Petra. It stands 40 meters tall and is carved out of a single block of stone. Apparently it was carved from the top down and these holes that you see on the side are hand and foot holds that people would use to climb up and down during the building of this monument. The name of this monument is Al Khazne, which means the treasury, and it's believed that there was treasure hidden up here behind this central urn. And if you look closely, I'll show you that people have shot at this middle urn. There are bullet holes in the monument because people believe that there was treasure hidden behind it and so they wanted to see if it was actually inside. Believe it or not, that's like the first cool thing that Petra has to offer. There's so much further in. Before we move on to other exciting things in the Petra, let me take a minute to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem solving website and app with loads of interactive courses in math, science and computer science. The key word here is problem solving because Brilliant uses puzzles and challenges in order to make you actually think about the topic that's in front of you. Brilliant helps you achieve Achieve your goals in STEM by starting with one small commitment to learning and building up to long-term challenge and growth. I've been telling myself for ages that I need to learn how to code and learn about computer science and Brilliant is the perfect way to get me started. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, and interactive challenges and puzzles that help you actually grasp and learn an idea or concept from its roots. Critical reasoning and application of that knowledge is what leads to true learning. Brilliant even has an app so you can use it on the go which is perfect for me for my commutes to the hospital. If you want to improve your critical thinking and continue learning, go to brilliant.org slash karma medic and sign up for free. And the first 200 people to go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. All right, guys, now back to the vlog. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So behind me here is the amphitheater of the city. Of course, shaped like this because it amplifies sound. That's where we're going. Oh. So this peak all the way here is the tip of the monastery that you take 1,000 steps to reach. And then behind me here, this is the court. So these down here are jails, and up here is the court where they would have proceedings and decide what they would do with people who were breaking the law. Oh. So these around me here are the jail cells where they would hold people. Oh my goodness. We're climbing the stairs to the courts up here on my left. All this space carved into the mountain 
Look at how straight this wall is. It's perfect. Yeah, it's completely flat, perfectly aligned. They start digging from the top and they work their way down. I feel so incredibly privileged to be able to actually enter these buildings, these temples that are thousands of years old. It's amazing to actually be able to go inside one and touch it with your own hands, see it up close. Please, please come to Jordan. If you're watching this, if you've ever thought about visiting Jordan, please come visit. It's a beautiful country. There's so much to offer. This mountain range here looks like a camel. You've got the head over here and then two humps over here. Isn't that wild? All right, so now we've passed the Khazneh, the treasury, the main monument that you see when coming to the Petra. We've also gone to the courts that I was just at. And now we're going along the pretty big trek to get to the monastery. So the monastery is about three kilometers into the city and then 1,000 steps up into the mountains and you arrive at the monastery that's twice as big as the treasury that we saw at the beginning. So very excited to see that. Him. He's joining us on our hike up to the monastery. Very cute little kid. Somehow walking barefoot up all these stones and mountains. And there's the same tip of the monastery that we saw earlier. Almost there. I think I'm on step like 700 something. Almost there. And just like that, we made it to the monastery. Twice as wide and taller than the Khazneh that we saw before. Beautiful. I want to try and show you guys on the video just how big this thing is, just a sec. scared to approach the edge here given how oh my goodness oh my goodness that is absolutely crazy all right there's just one thing i have to do before i go king's college london all right on the way down gonna have a cheeky Ride on the donkey. When you go down, lean back. Back. Yeah. I'll tell you. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> now I'm with one hand, the camera, and one hand the donkey. Yo ma. Oh god. Yo ma. Oh my god. <laughs> That was genuinely a roller coaster ride. <laughs> I was scared. All right, solo riding another donkey, but this time on flat land. Apparently, if I lean left, I lean right, he knows the way. 
All right, guys, I've got my coffee. That is it for Petra. I'm completely exhausted. I feel like we've walked so much today. I think I'm at 16,000 steps or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna call it here and I'll catch up with you guys once I've had some rest. And I'll catch up with you guys once I've had some rest. Hey guys, Editing Nasser here. So I'm just currently finishing up the edit for this video. It's honestly felt like more of a documentary than one of my typical videos here on YouTube. It's been absolutely huge, so complicated, and just a really difficult edit. But honestly, I had so much fun filming my time here in Jordan and editing that experience into this video, and I hope that you enjoyed watching it as well. If you did enjoy watching it, don't forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I have to come back for the camera. This camel is giving me a very warm welcome. Welcome back to another dose. Gadud vlogger jdida. Hi. Hot the channel ta ha hon. Ayo. Let me see on the channel. Was akhiran amilta. Bravo.